Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and today I'm going to be doing a small haul. I got most of these fragrances from Macari Fragrance Net and I did get some from TG Maxx in Burlington. So, well, most of these are blind buys and some of them I had already smelled and I just kind of wanted to um, get them for myself. So if this is something you want to see, keep okay. watching. So the first fragrance that I have here, I got this from Macari and it's Jimmy Choo Fever. This guy smells so good. So I got this from my daughter for Christmas. I liked it so much and I just wanted to have my own little bottle. Well this is actually the 3.3 .3, but this one here is just very, you smell the plum, you smell the vanilla. So good. It's supposed to have like um, coffee in here, nutty. But what I really smell is like a sweet fruity vanilla. I feel like this would be great for like nighttime. So the top notes are plum, lychee, grapefruit. The middle notes are heliotrope, vanilla, orchid, jasmine, and orange blossom. The base notes are tonka bean, benzoin, vanilla, coffee, hazelnut, and sandalwood. I love tonka bean, you guys. Plus with the vanilla and then the fruity aspect to it and then the orange blossom and jasmine. Jasmine, I love jasmine. I make um I make like oils and candles and everything pretty much that I make, I always end up putting jasmine oil in it because I just love jasmine. Huge fan. But this is great. I find that this would be probably better for like the fall, winter, nights, things like that. But I mean, I would wear it in the spring. Like I have no issues. But I just needed to get my hands on this because I saw it on the Molo at Mercari. So, yeah. So the next fragrance I also got from Mercari. And it's Rare Pearls by Avon. I own this before. Actually, I gave it to my daughter because she just loved it so much. She loves like vintage-y kind of smells. This does have like a vintage smell, but it's still wearable. It's not like, you know, not, it's, it's a beautiful floral. It has honey in here. Um, it's honey, pepper, Brazilian rosewood, and plum. Middle notes um, are magnolia. The base notes are sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. Not a dirty patchouli either. This lasts long. It's like very floral, fresh, but like sweet. Not sharp at all. And this is, you know, I, I do find that it's a bit vintagey, but like I said, like I would still wear it. Um, this is supposed to smell very close to Pure Poison by Dior. And I definitely do see the resemblance. And yeah, I just wanted to have this in my collection. So nice. So I also got this next fragrance at Macari, and it's on the Demon La Secret. This guy is like, it has tea, it has cranberry, it has patchouli, so it has citruses. It's, it's like so good and so fresh. Like this definitely smells like a nice tea cocktail, cool, you know, on, on a nice warm day with like, Tea on ice kind of thing. This is very well lasting. I already got a few compliments from this. This is an easy wear. I would wear this in, in the summer, in the in the spring. I mean, I can see how someone would even want this as their signature set. This is so good. And I got the big bottle for a really, really good price on Macari. The top notes are tea, cranberry, Amalfi lemon, Middle notes are peony, jasmine, and water lily. Base notes are woodsy notes and patchouli. I can see the water lily because there's like a watery element to this. It's just like, like maybe that plus a tea note gives it like a refreshing element to it. So this is bomb. But the next one is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This guy is just interesting because I feel like I probably smelled it like way back in the day because I used to see this at Sephora, but I would just kind of skip past it. And there's been a lot of people talking about it, that this is great for spring, and this is just, you know, discontinued. As soon as, like, they said it was discontinued, I just had to have my hands on it. This was a little pricey. 
but I got this, yeah, Amakari for, I guess, cheaper than I would have gotten it anywhere else. And it's a really nice fragrance. It does smell like a little powdery. It, it has like a green note to it. It's very fresh. It's very clean. There's a sweetness to this as well, but not like gourmand. The top note is mint. The middle notes are rose, carnation, and cannabis. The base notes are vetiver and amber. So I'm thinking that maybe the amber gives that gives it that sweetness to it. I can see the mint. You know what? Have you ever had like a peppermint tea with like um, honey in it or like a sweetener? This is how it smells to me like like a sweetened mint tea and um, along with the other notes. So I have worn this but not a lot but I feel like I want to work more with this and I'm, ha I'm happy to have it in my collection. Alrighty so the next fragrance that I got from Macari is Love Story Chloe and this size is really good. It actually reminds me of um, Vanitas by Versace. And this is just a one ounce. And I also heard that this is discontinued, so I'm not sure, but it was a really good price on Macari, so I just snagged it up. The top notes are neroli, pear, bergamot, grapefruit, and lemon. The middle notes are orange blossom, stephanotis, rose, peach, and black currant. The base notes are musk, cedar cashmere wood and patchouli. So this to me is very floral, very clean, very airy. It's long lasting as well. I do smell a little bit of citrus in here. So it's just like a citrus floral, um, clean kind of fragrance. I do like it a lot. So the next fragrance that I got is I just love this bottle and I love this smell. I had one, I gave it to my daughter. Every time she wears it, she smells so good, so I wanted it for myself. The top notes are Earl Grey Tea, White Pepper, Mandarin Orange, Apple, and Rice. The middle notes are Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Freesia, Honeysuckle, Rose, and Orange Blossom. The base notes are pepper, musk, iris, sandalwood, and amber. So I love Galo fragrances. And a lot of her fragrances have has that like clean musk. So there is like a clean a clean vibe here. And you definitely smell the Earl Grey tea. It kind of like gives it that like chill, like refreshing kind of um, scent. And then you smell the citrus in here. And then that rice note as well is what gives it like an oriental vibe to it. This is so good and this lasts really long on my skin. I can see myself getting compliments from this. And this is great for like summer, spring, well, even fall time wear. I would even wear this in the winter if I just didn't want to wear something too heavy but this is beautiful guys um so by Jennifer Lopez the next fragrance is Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue Royale I've seen this talked about and I know that we're entering in the spring and summer so I don't think this would be good for this time of year but I saw it at TJ Maxx and it was affordable and uh, I've been wanting to smell this. I figured let me smell it if I didn't like it I'll return it but I do like this. This actually reminds me a little bit of Club de Nuit Intense, the black bottle. So I do smell like the floral. I do smell like some kind of suede or leather in this. The top notes are liquor, raspberry, orange blossom, and Sicilian bergamot. The middle notes are patchouli, olibanum, atlas cedar, Cypress oil, base notes are suede, labdanum, 
at uh, Amberwood and Musk. So I definitely smell that suede. I think this is definitely boozy from that liquor note. We smell the patchouli. This is a very like dark, mysterious kind of someone with confidence, you know, is what I picture wearing this. Um, whether she's dressed up in all black with a nice little jacket, like something like that, you know, like definitely something more winter time appropriate. But this is beautiful, and I love the bottle, and um, I'm glad I have this. This does remind me, though, of the uh, Club of Nui Intense. So if you've ever smelled that, this is kind of similar to that. Not identical, but similar. Okay, guys, so the next fragrance that I have is Mambo by Liz Claiborne. This is old school. This is, uh, I think, in early 2000s or the late 90s, but... This has a mango note to it, there's vanilla, there's ginger, there's musk. So this is very clean, this is very fruity, this is very tropical, very beachy. A little different from Bora Bora, because Liz Claiborne has another fragrance called Bora Bora, and that's very like floral, tropical kind of scent. But this one is very like, very soapy. So I don't know if this would be a good blind buy, but I blind bought this today actually and I'm actually wearing it and it's very easy to wear. It does have a little bit of vintage kind of feel to it but not to the point where you can't wear it so definitely love this here. Okay guys so I saved the best for last. There's two more and I'm so late on this but I just I, I, I decided to just bite the bullet and get it. So, for the next fragrance I have, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I finally got my shoe, guys. I'm telling you, like, every time I wanted to get this, it was always not available, and I was not going to pay retail price for this. Um, when it became available, I just decided to go for it, and I'm so happy that I did, because this fragrance is... It's so good and it's long lasting and it's sexy and I can see this getting a lot of compliments. Like I said, every time I would go to Sephora, I always smelled myself like I just couldn't stop sniffing myself. This was something that um, I've always wanted but like I said, it wasn't available and when it became available, I snagged it. This is like a warm, spicy, sweet vanilla cacao, super rose, amber, almond, woody, powdery, of course. There's a lot of notes here, but what I do what I do get from this is the tonka, the cacao, the vanilla. I do get the orange blossom here. It's just even the tuberose, I do get the tuberose. This is beautiful guys. And um, I'm glad to have it in my collection. I know a lot of people are probably tired of this, but um I'm just beginning my journey with this. So yeah. Last fragrance is La Belle. So yeah, this is, guys, this was a blind buy, but I do not regret this. I've been wanting to get my hands on this for a while, but it's always sold out. This has pear, this has vanilla, this has vetiver. Very simple. I'm sure it might have other notes as well. And I do see how people can say this has like a Casablanca vibe because of that thick, syrupy fruit note. This is beautiful. This is feminine. I can see this um, getting lots of compliments. It's long lasting. And the hype is very real on this. Beautiful. This is just gorgeous. You really smell that pear, that vanilla, that vetiver really rounds it out. I'm glad I have this in my collection, guys. This is amazing. So there you have it. This is these are all the fragrances that I recently recently purchased and I look forward to sharing more. So have a great day guys. Be blessed.